family, what's going on? Minister Bernard Marrow here, grateful for another beautiful, blessed Monday that God, the only true living God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, has truly blessed us to see. It's Monday, September the 25th, 2023. It's another beautiful, blessed day and new week that we are truly blessed, always being blessed to press forward in by faith. Family, we've come to the end of this series. We are in week 17, closing out this summer series titled Life in the Spirit. And I pray that this series has been a tremendous blessing to you. With that being said, let's get into it. Check it out, Family Monday Motivational Moment. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. I'm anointed for this. Declare that over yourself. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. I'm anointed for this. I want to share with you Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19 in the King James Version. The word of the Lord says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And so family, ultimately, this is why we live life in the spirit. Luke chapter four, verses 18 and 19 gives us our mission. This portion of our assignment is bigger than just using our gifts. This is beyond doing business in the marketplace. Outside of being great and inspiring each other, the world needs healing. And we are to produce the results of what God put us here to do through Christ. After God cursed the world and sent Jesus Christ to save and redeem us, God commissioned us to handle the rest. Jesus Christ being the greatest example of how to live life in the spirit. God anoints us on purpose with purpose. And this is why we have authority to do what God called us to. Because through Christ, God anoints us for everything he called us to do, including preaching the gospel to the poor, for the brokenhearted to be healed, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, for all to be saved and set free. Family, having the power and favor of the Lord upon you, you can press past all challenges. You can overcome obstacles, never quitting, never giving up, never throwing in the towel, breaking the grip of fear, flowing in the anointing to flow and rule in the dominion in the earth that God has given you. Family, if you missed Sunday Night Preview last night, I encourage you to go back and watch it. Also, connect with me in this new week as we continue to get inspired through the Word of God to live life in the Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you, and you're anointed for this. God has greater in store for you, so keep your faith in motion. Through Jesus Christ, you're created to live an abundant life and to help others do the same. So let the Holy Spirit lead you. Let the Holy Spirit have his way in your life. Press forward and move by faith. Y'all already know, by faith be good, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Enjoy this new week to the fullest and know that the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. You're anointed for this. Have a great week, family. I love you, and I'm praying for you always. God bless you abundantly. I'm out.